let's talk marketing, okay? A lot of businesses, small business owners, that's an area where they just don't even know where to start. And, you know, the Myriad Group, and this is your specialty is marketing, incredible brands. These restaurants are known everywhere. The names are instant recognition of excellence. What should small business owners be doing to get a brand like that? Well, you know, it, it takes a while to get to the point where you have that level of success. I mean, when we started out in uh, 1985, uh, the world was very different in terms of media. There was no internet. And for a restaurant, if you got a great review, for instance, in the New York Times, you got a three-star review, it kind of anointed you. Everyone wanted to flock to the, to the hottest place. And uh, I strongly believe that you got to know the key media people in these markets, the top 10 people, so that you were constantly being written about and that always generated more interest. Now the world has changed a lot. Now it, it's very much uh, fragmented in terms of social media. Uh, it's not just, people don't just pay attention to what the New York Times, the New York Magazine, or any number of publications say, because each one of you also has a voice also, and you're reviewing us all the time. Hopefully you love us more than not, but you know, it, it, there's, it is a mixed bag out there. Uh, I would just say that, that um, you have to try to be excellent, and you have to come up with something about your business that's unique that people will write about. For instance, uh, at Tribeca Grill, we had amazing celebrity connections, you know, Robert De Niro, obviously, and we had Mikhail Baryshnikov and Sean Penn. We had a lot of stars, but no uh, celebrity restaurants had really been successful up to that point, and very few have lasted. What did we do to have longevity once the star thing fades out? Well, we have a world-class wine list that gets the grand award every year from the wine spectator. That's the highest level that they offer. So you have to maintain excellence over a long period of time. You know, you get the word out, and if you have a good product, people will come back and you'll be successful. You can be a great marketer, but if your brand isn't doing a good job, they'll come and visit once and they'll say, well, I went there, that wasn't very good, I'm not going back. Nobu was very unique because there was no Japanese restaurant that was like that. It had Peruvian influences, from South America. Uh, it was not the typical tempura, teriyaki, shoji screens. It was very different. It had really a very unique aspect to it, and it captured people's imagination. And uh, Montrachet, which was our French restaurant, which is now Batard, uh, again, was very high quality French food that uh, was very, very cost effective. And it was an inspiration for restaurateurs that followed like Jean-Georges Van Drichten and Daniel Belloud. They all knew that they could do really great food and make it accessible. So, you know, you have to come up with something that's a unique idea. Something that's kind of vanilla isn't probably gonna stand out. But if you can come up with something that stands out from the crowd, then you use all the marketing techniques that are at your disposal, or at least that you could afford, to get the word out. And like I said, you know, you have to keep an eye on the quality every day because the experience that people have is the experience that they have that day. It's not somebody else's experience.